with Fears of Fathom Season 1 being fully done, here's just my in-depth review on the series as a whole. Enjoy! Fear, one of life's most common emotions. It's a natural human emotion that's programmed into our nervous system and helps us survive. It surrounds ourselves every day, whether it's taking a test, walking at night, and even... Alright, screw it. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. This is your fault. This is your fault, you stupid cat. You did this to us. You literally did this to us. If I had a time machine to go back, I I take you out in a heartbeat. You caused this. Season one starts out with episode one, Home Alone. And if you haven't played it, you should try it. Uh, it's free. Yeah, go ahead, play it. Now, play it now. <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> it was the middle of summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day, though I did plan on fixing that. The bird begins by waking up, turning our alarm clock, and reenacting this red story. And at this time, we're just totally just gonna like, see the vibe, get used to the house, and things only start getting bad the moment this happens. We see the old man look into our home through the windows, and walks away, and that doesn't seem like much, I would say, but the music definitely does suggest a different tone, but definitely more like darker sinister tone and definitely like sets the mood for what's to come. This guy is without a doubt in our home, but all we can do is follow the script Knowing he's there, just do homework and go to bed. At the moment, the game tells us to go get a glass of water and come right back. The guy is at our door. Let's go check it out. I feel like this is where the series gets its identity. We're left with two options. Go to our bed, hide, and wait for help. Or two, die. I will show you the jump scare. Uh, so be warned, jump scare is happening in like, uh, yeah, three, two, one, like now. -ish. Hey, this is your boy, Poop Water. Yeah, this this was that jump scare. Yeah, this this the jump scare I was talking about three seconds ago. Yeah, this is it. To clarify, this was the jump scare. Not only do we die, 
our game force crashes, we need to restart from the beginning. However, this time we know what to do. Let's just, when we get to that scenario, let's go upstairs, stay in our room until we know how to proceed. Don't worry, I'm not playing it again. I'm not playing the jump scare. This, this is where most people die. The game is tricking you to go forward. You go forward. You, you're, you're dead. You're, you're dead. You're dead. Go back to your room and just wait for the police. That is the answer. For now, let me just play the ending. Genuinely speaking, this was one of the scariest experiences I've ever had in my life. And this is just a, a free game on Steam. Holy hell, this is what I want to see. This game is boobies. This game is boobies. Thank you guys for watching. Poop water out. Hey, to anyone who watched this, uh, you're awesome. Next up, I'll be doing this. Northwood or is it Norwood? I, I don't know. It's Northwood and Norwood. Norwood Hitchhike. I'll be doing that. I guess an hourish. I'll be giving my review in a second. But if you guys like the video, thank you for just watching through the end. And I'll see you guys in a bit.